what do you think about uh, the the NFL's all these like contingency plans they're building? They're they're talking about delaying the season five weeks. The opening game would be October fifteenth on a Thursday. Did they say when they would come in for training camp or anything? That no training camp uh, camp talk has been. I don't know how long training camp would be. I would like to see that. No bye weeks. Moving the Super Bowl to February twenty eighth instead of February something like that. They're thinking about really making the move. And this is interesting because they are, they're getting information, by the way, that we're not, right? The commissioners uh, are all getting information from that committee they're on. And whenever you hear somebody that's on those committees or something like that put out information, that's when I think we all learn a little bit more about what the real future of this entire coronavirus quarantine is. And that's the interesting part for me is like, okay, they're planning all this stuff. But my first takeaway is like, damn. They're thinking there's no chance we're going to be back to normal in August or September. Yeah. It's going to go all the way to October. That's five months from now. That's a long <laughs> time. Now let's dive into the season. No bye weeks. Interesting. Are they going to make it a shorter season then? Are they going to make it 10 weeks as opposed to uh, a full 16? Will they knock it down to 12? How will they do that? Because if they're planning on guys just going straight 16 through, straight through a playoff, straight to the Super Bowl, I mean, that is... This plan is. That's how this plan is set up. There's no way that'll work. I there's mean, only one week between the AFC and NFC Championship games and the Super Bowl. There's not that... Oh, two weeks before it either. Think about the NFLPA. I'm sure they've already answered and said, uh, this might be their plan, uh, but we are not all in on that. Just because that would be a very reckless way to go about it with people that are worth millions and millions of dollars. You're putting them in a very interesting spot, but I respect and like the fact that they're trying to give the fans a full season. I don't think it's very realistic when it comes to health concerns for the players and things of that nature, but... Hearing them think about October 5th being the first real time, I mean, that's a long time from now, man. Do you think they well, I think they're just they're coming up with plans. Like, everyone has to have plans in place. They said it's still top priority to start the season on time this year. We know that, but they don't know. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. Like, nobody truly knows when anything is really going to start to happen. And now we hear what things are going to start to open up a little bit. And they're trying to – I know some states have opened up a few things. They're trying to test it. Texas is opening up on Friday, I believe. So Texas is coming back. I'll be pumped to see what happens in Texas because if if it gets bad down there, yeah. I mean, it's only going to get worse for everybody else. But on the flip side, if it is good, I think you're going to see a lot of governors potentially peeking their head down there and trying to get back into it. And will it be a smart move or a bad move? I don't think we'll be able to find out until – you know, and Texas has always been that state that everybody says they would be their own country if they could. And this is them saying, hey, all right, we'll open this song, bitch, up. Let's see what happens here. Let's roll the dice here. Have, have you seen the Las Vegas mayor? She's ready oh, yeah. to open everything up. No, I didn't. What did she say? She said she's ready to open it up, but she won't be going back out in public because she yeah, doesn't she, want to get She it. offered up the city as a control group. I saw Deshaun. <laughs> she offered up the city as a control group? Her words, group? Exactly. Well, Texas said, don't worry, we got you. It's not just going to be a city. <laughs> but Deshaun Watson um, told one of his teammates, like, man, stay your ass in the house. Because he was like, I can't wait to get outside or whatever. He's being locked down. And Deshaun Watson quotes really it and said, uh, man, keep your ass in the house. So I'll be excited to see how this all goes with the people that still have the ability to stay home if they want, if the state opens up. And then the people who are allowed to go outside. If no real spike happens, which I have no idea if it would or not, the people that go outside are going to talk so much shit to the people that are staying inside. That is just something that's going to... And I'm excited for those roasts. I mean, it's going to get bad. The people that are going to go outside, they're already outside protesting things. Yep. The things they're going to say to their neighbors who are choosing to stay inside and won't talk is going to be absolutely terrible. And on the flip side, uh, the people that are staying home, and if this thing gets bad, the shit that they're going to be Zooming their friends about is going to be next level. This is a big thing what Texas is doing for all of us. Big, big thing. Yeah, there's some other states. Didn't Georgia open up like some barber shops mm -hmm. and like restaurants? Kind really? of like, yeah. but you still there's a lot of guidelines. I think you got to have a mask, you got to sit far uh, apart. Like, uh, they're trying to reintegrate and see, I guess, how it goes. Alaska opened up restaurants and stuff like that, but you have wow. to oh, only for reservations, and you can only go to dinner with people who live in your household, and the restaurant can only be 25 percent full because you have to be like 10 feet apart. So that's how do they know if those people live in my house? I assume you look at your uh, driver's I license. I had a friend in New York uh, that wasn't allowed in his girlfriend's apartment complex by the doorman. Like, sh you're not allowed in here. Mm. Yeah, cause he didn't live there. That's insane. I don't think New York or L.A. are going to be open for a long time. No. feels like those big cities are going to be 
Kind of with a, New York, everyone's on top of each other there. I mean, I know that seems like the, the toughest one to, to get back to normal. I can't wait for us to get back to normal, but boy, I hope. Because if, if, if this rollout happens and it all goes up again, we're never going to fucking be allowed out. No. It'll, be, it'll be past October. Hey, Texas, if you got great immune systems, get your ass outside. <laughs> if not, we need not to happen. I don't know. Fuck it. People are going to roll the dice, I guess. We'll all learn. But if it's out there and it's taking people down, would you want to be able to get out? I guess not. Exactly. Because no. in a grand scheme of things, your entire life, is an extra three months going to hurt? I mean, the economy is in a yeah. bad spot. A lot of small businesses are in a terrible spot. I mean, another three months could be life-changing. Life th- Man, we're, this is a weird time to be alive. UFOs are real. I mean, this is a wild time to be alive. Look good, feel good. Feel good, play good. Play good, pay good. Pay good, live good. Live good, die good.